Today I am processing some of my garlic that I got out of the garden. Um, I was reading up on what I should do with it. Some of it I'm just going to leave whole in the cloves like so um, and use them as I need them. But I wanted to take uh, some and figure out how to preserve them uh, and be able to peel them and have them ready to use uh, whenever I need them. Uh, so I, I took the cloves apart and I peeled them all up and put them in this, this uh, jar, this bowl. And I've decided in researching that I don't want to can, pressure can or anything like that, my uh, garlic because it can take the flavor away. Uh, it's not really good for it. And I want to keep the flavor as much as possible. So I found a way to refrigerate, uh, kind of refrigerate can my garlic. Uh, so I have a few jars here with lids. I have my white distilled vinegar and it's boiling. I've got about four cups boiling on the stove over here. So what I'm gonna do is take these four jars, or three jars. Wow, we can't even count today. Uh, three jars. Well, I guess I was thinking I might need four. That's why I said that. But I think three is going to be enough. Maybe even two. I don't know. Um, I want to get them filled as much as possible. But let's take a look down here what I'm going to do. Okay. So the whole process is you take your vinegar and you boil it on the stove. And I'm going to pour in my peeled garlic cloves. I rinse them off after I peeled them. I put them in water as I was peeling and then drained them and rinsed them off. So that's pretty good in that one. And then let's do this one. Get them all in there. I may have to cut up some more to do this one here. But there's only two jars. I do have a few that I can cut up and put in. But anyway, actually, I'm going to leave that on there. And I'm going to pour the boiling vinegar over the top. So that they're covered. Do this one too. Okay. I'm just going to use a knife and just kind of go down. Same as if you were canning. Evidently, Yeti wants to be in on the action. I'm going to put a few of these in here because it's pretty full. even it out but I'm just getting some of the bubbles out I've never done this before so I'm just going by a simple recipe now you could um, you could put dill and I think uh, red pepper flakes and all that in there as well um, but I think the less I put in the better I'm gonna clean the tops off of my jars so they're all nice and dry. I did sterilize these jars and lids. Everything's all clean. These are brand new anyway, so. But then I'm just going to take that and pop it on. And that one. Pop it on. And these should last up to a year. Depends on how many times you get in and out of it. Just finger tight. Don't want it too, too tight. But there's a couple of jars. Very easy, very simple, and very quick to process. Um, not really process, but to preserve a little longer your garlic. I did not, again, put all of my garlic in. 
Um, I do have some that are still whole in the clothes that I'm going to hang up in a cool dry place to see how long they'll last. But supposedly uh, if you let these cool down overnight so they're nice and cool to the touch, put them in your refrigerator in the way back of your fridge and they can stay there up to a year. So these are refrigerator garlic. Now the vinegar does not penetrate these garlic give it any kind of a vinegary taste when you take it out to cook with it it's going to taste just like vinegar no i'm uh, sorry just like garlic no vinegar so that's why i chose to do it this way and that way if i'm making something i can take a couple of these out and uh open the jar take a couple of these out close the jar back up pop it back in the fridge and it should be good for up to a year we should end up using all this I would assume that I will um, as it gets closer. I'll watch them as it gets closer. I'll put them in something. I don't know. I'll put. I'll find a way to use them up so that I don't lose them. But anyway, uh, also if you have any brown garlic, you're supposed to cut it off and put it in. It's not going to hurt anything if you have a little bit of brown spots on your garlic. Um, just cut it, cut that part off and put, stick that in your jar. So anyway, that's a quick, easy recipe to use to um, kind of keep your garlic so that it won't go bad before you use it. We're going to try it out again. I've never done this before. So this is going to be kind of an experiment for me. Um, I'm hoping that this works and Hopefully if you try it, or if you've tried it before, let me know down in the comments if you've done this and it works for you. Like, share, and subscribe as always, and have a great day. Are you interested in a roasted garlic chicken pizza idea? Check this video out, it's so good. And here's some more in the kitchen ideas. Check it out.